Jamaa assalamu alaikum barkamu da warhaka barkamu kuma da sake saduwa a cikin shirin mu na labaran channels wanda ni Abu Bakar Salihu zan gabatar Shugaban kwamitin soji na majalisar da tawar kasan nan Sanata Ali Indume ya ce rundunar sojin Najeriya ba ta da sauran wani uzuri da za ta gabatar na kasa magance ayyukan ta'addanci Indume ya shaida haka ne a wata sanarwa da ya fitar albarkacin bikin ranar demokradiya ta bana inda yake alakanta magana tasa da karin kasafan kudin da aka gabatar wa majalisar a makon da ya gabata ne a wajen taron majalisar koli aka sanar da cewa shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ya gabatar da kwarekwaren kasafan kudi na naira biliyan 895 ga majalisar dokokin kasa nan domin amincewa da shi jaridar Daily Trust ta riwayar cewa shugaban majalisar dattawa Ahmad Lawan ya ce fiye da naira biliyan 700 daga cikin biliyan 895 din an ware ne domin magance dukkanin wasu matsalolin tsaro tare da yi wa majalisar alƙawarin gaggauta amincewa da kasafin a sanarwar ta sa sanata indume ya ce kudin za su taimaka wajen yaki da ta'addanci to nan kuma mai martaba sarkin zazzau alhaji ahmad noba malli ya ce birnin zariya na cikin tsaka mai wuya Sarkin ya bayyana hakan ne a litinin din nan sa'ilin da yake ya karbi bakuntin tawagar shugabannin tsaro a karkashin jagorancin commissioner tsaro da al'amuran cikin gida na jihar Kaduna Samuel Arwa Sarkin ya ce mazauna birnin ba sa samun yin bacci da ido a rufe saboda sace-sacen jama'a da ake yi domin neman kudin fansa a cikin birnin da ake wayan sa ya kuma bayyana yanayin a matsayin wanda ba za a amince da shi ba tare da yin kira ga gwamnati da daukacin da sa dauki maktaki kamar yadda jaridar Daily Trust ta rawaito Alhaji Nuru Bamalli ya ce duk da cewa akwai cibiyoyin tsaro kamar makarantar hodar da sojoji a yankin masarautar ta sa amma al'umar sana zauna a cikin fargaba shi kuwa commissioner a ruwan cewa sun je fadar ne domin kara ƙarin guyuwa tare da jajantawa masarautar akan harin da aka kai makarantar koyon fasaha ta Nuru Bamalli da kuma wasu al'umomi makwabta a ce gwamnati na yin ya bakin kokarin ta domin kare masarautar da jihar baki daya anan kuma rundunar yan sandan Najeriya ta ce babu wata doka ko haƙin da ta take sakamakon matakin da ta dauka na yin amfani da barkonan tsohuwa wadantar wata gungun masu zanga zangar adawa da gwamnatin kasar wanda suka yi tattaki a ranar asabar din nan domin tunawa da ranar demokradiya shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ya ware kowace rana ta 12 ga watan yuni ne a matsayin ranar demokradiyar kasar domin tunawa da kuma girmama murgayi MKO a Biola da gwamnatin soji ta soke nasarar zaben sa a matsayin shugaban kasa a makamanciyar wannan rana a shekarar 1993 wasu yan Najeriya sun yi amfani da damar bikin ta ranar demokradiya wajen gudanar da zanga zanga a wasu biranen kasar inda Abuja da Lagos ta kai ga yan sanda sun watsa taron nasu ta hanyar yin amfani da barkonin tsohuwa abin da ya jawo cece ku ce daga yan adawa da kuma masu fafutukar kare haƙin bil adama wanda suka ce hakan ya saba doka sai dai kakakin rundunar yan sandan ta Najeriya Frank Umba ya ce matakin yan sandan yayi daidai da dokokin kasa da kasa da suka ba su damar tarwatsa tarikan da ka iya rikidewa zuwa tashin hankali hukumar yaki da sha da fitaucin miya gunkwayoyi ta Najeriya NDLEA ta kama kwala be dubu dari na maganin tare na kodin mai nauyin jimlar kilogram 1500 da 300 da 25 a jihar Rivers wacce ke kudancin Najeriya an gano ruwan maganin tun alana alamis goma ga watan yuni wanda aka zuba a katan 500 kuma aka boye shirkin wata container mai lakabin wato da nufin cewa laka wato da nufin cewa kayan abinci ne daga India amma sai a ranar asabar hukuma ta bayyana kaman ta bakin mai magana da yawunta Femi baba Femi a cikin wata sanarwa sanarwar ta ce an gano kayan ne a yayin wani binciken hadin guya tare da jami'an hukumar custom an gano kayan ne sakamakon wasu bayanan sirri da NDLEA ta samu abin da yasa aka dakatar da container kuma aka kai ta gidan custom dake cikin tashar jirajen ruwa ta one a cewar sa kungiyar ba da agaji ta Rotary International ta bukaci mahaudatan dake cikin al'umar da su rika taimaka marasa galihu shugaban reshen jihar 
wato reshin kungiyar Najar Lagos Mrs Chandra Nalodi ita ce tayi wannan kira a gana wata da Channel TV din kadan bayan kamala taron karama wasu mutane 511 da suka ji da suka ci gajiyar aikin cire yanar ido kyauta albarkacin ita kungiyar a jawabin sa na godiya a yayin taron rabaran Dr Salah Hussaini na majami'ar Eko a wacce ta mallaki asibitin idanun wanda ya gudanar da aikin tiyatar ya bayyana irin gudunmu wanda asibitin ke bayarwa ga kiwon lafiyar al'umma me za mu ce ma Allah sai dai mu ce musu mun gode idan da za a yi lissafi kowannen ku ya biya aikin da aka mishi a kallon ba kasara ba za ku biya 80 yanzu an yi muku shi kyauta an ba ku abinci kyauta ai da haka ne ma za mu yi rayuwa a kasar Kano gabaki daya masu halin wayanda suke da su zannuwa shadda shadda su raba ma talakawa wayanda za su iya bude ido su bude ma idanun talakawa to da lafiya ya samu in ji mai wasan macijin summa mai wasan macijin summa yace en kallo lafiya shi ma lafiya so dole da haka mu muna wani aiki wannan ekwa dariqa ekwa da kuka gani ta bude wannan asibiti shekaru masu dama wa'ansu ma tun kafin a yafe su wannan asibiti na nan to amma ba ba a kirkiro wannan asibiti domin a cuci kowa ba an yi ne domin a taimaka kuma Allah ya albarkace mu da wani likita dan 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 sarki baya gajiya sarkin aiki na ka fito aiki na za ka aiki ina so ina so ma mu gaisa da shi wata rana zai ce ina aiki to yaushe za ka same shi yana aiki mutum wajen 500 amma yayi a sati biyu me za mu ce mishi jama'a sabili da haka aikin da muke yi annan a dariqa ekwa muna bude muna kokarin bude idanun wayanda idanun su ya rufu in ba mu iya ba mu roke Allah ya bude da kansa wasu daga cikin mutanen da suka ci gajiyar aikin cire yanar idan sun bayyana godiya su ga kungiyar territory game da wannan gudunmuwa ga aiki ya same mu na godiya wayannan bayan Allah da Allah ya hada mu da su babu abin da za su ce mana tun daga yanzu har mutuwa ta ne dai ba zan manta da wannan aiki ba because i'm very young na karamai yarinya na yi tunanin na rasa ido na amma lokacin da na ji announcement na tashi na zauna na ce to Allah ya karba addu'a ta na zo na fito tun da asuba daga fage lokan gama amma ina zauna a zariya na shigo mota na taho immediately muka zo ai wonderful na ga mutane masu yawa na kalla na kalla na ce to alhamdulillah babu ko kwabar mu babu kwandalan mu suka yi mana jawabi kar wani ya zo ya ce mu bashi naira daya tun daga kan masu shara har zuwa muke toce mu alhamdulillah babu wanda ya kamama da ya ce da Allah a ba mu wani abu ko wani temako babu i'm very very happy i'm very very happy wallahi lokacin na ina tafiya ina tuntube ba na gani ya na ta rufe min ido sai ina kwance sai naji a radio ana sanarwa sai na ce alhamdulillah gani na ya zo haka muka taho muka yo samma ko muka zo nan aka tantance mu aka yi mana komai aka duba mu aka ce ranar litinin mu zo za mu ga likita zai ga mu haka aka duba mu aka yi mana aiki yanzu alhamdulillah ni kadai ma na zo daga unguwa uku wallahi yan rakiya ta tana kaduna sai da ta kawo ni aka yi min aiki ta ja ni ta kai ni gida ni kadai nake abuna yau ma ni kadai na ta ko na zo wannan mutane alhamdulillah na godewa Allah 
na godi wa Muhammad manzan Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallama to anan kuma hukumar lafiya a matakin farko ta jihar Bauchi ta ce zuwa yanzu mutane 37 ne cutar kwalala ta hallaka a jihar kafofin ya da labarai sai ruwai tuwar Alwani Muhammad shugaban hukumar yana cewa cutar ta yadu zuwa kalma a to kanana hukumomi 15 na jihar ya ce daga cikin 25 wato tun daga rana 25 ga watan bayan shekarar 2021 da muke tiki an samu mutum 1799 da saka kamu da wannan cuta anan hukumomin da cutar ta yadu su ne Bauchi da Dara Zau da Das da Giyade da Ganjuwa da Jama'are da Misau da Ningi da Shira da Tafawa Balewa da Warji da Alkaleri da Kirfi da Shira da kuma Zaki yankunan da suka fi yawan masu cutar su ne Bauchi wacce ke da mutum 1334 sai Ningi mai mutum 91 sai kuma da mai mutum 60 kamar yadda kafar ya da labarai ta the cable ta ruwai to shi yana fada maniya ta aikin hajin bana da masu kamfanonin digira alhazaita dirgen yawo a Najeriya na bayyana alhini dangane da sanarwa hukumomin Saudi na janye aikin haji ga yan kasashen waje rana asabar mahukuntan kasar Saudi suka fitar da sanarwa cewa yan kasar Saudi da baki mazauna can ne kawai ke da damar gudanar da aikin hajin bana amma su ma bisa cika sharidan kiyaye kamuwa ko kuma ya da cutar corona da aka shimfida kamar sauran kasashe yanzu haka da wannan mataki ya dagula lissafin maniyata daga Najeriya wasu daga cikin dimbin masu anniyar sauki farali a bana daga jihar Kano sun nuna a bacin ran su kamar da wannan lamarin saboda sun sa ran su cewa su riga sun zama alhazai Tana ma sabbin alƙalima daga hukumar yaki da cututtuka masu yaduwa ta Najeriya NCDC sun nuna cewa mutum 8 ne suka kamu da cutar corona a ranar asabar a kasar baki daya. Hukumar NCDC ta ce sabbin kamuwar sun fito ne daga jihohi bi sannan kuma babu wanda cutar ta yiwa wato tai ajalin sa. Jihohin kuwa su ne akwa ibam da kuma ribas masu mutum hurhudu a kowacen su. Zuwa yanzu dai NCDC ta ce jimlar mutane 167 da 59 ne suka harbi da cutar a Najeriya sai mutum 217 daga cikin sassar da su sannan asalin mutum 163 bayan da suka warke daga cutar to dangane da wannan batu na corona manyan ministocin gwamnatin Burtaniya sun amince da ajinkir ta dage matakan kulle da aka sanya wa Ingila har zuwa ranar 21 ga watan yunan da muke ciki Wata majiya mai karfi ta sanar da BBC cewa yawancin dokokin kullun za su ci gaba da aiki na tsawon makonni hudu bayan wannan rana. Akan na nufin za a ci gaba da kulle a gidajen shakatawa kuma za a bukaci mutane su ci gaba da aiki daga gida. Prime Minister Boris Johnson zai tabbatar da sabon matakin a cikin yanin wato a cikin yanin litinin din nan a yayin wata gawawa da zai da manema labarai sai dai wannan jinkiri zai iya janyo wasu yan jami'ar ta conservative su yi wa gwamnatin Bore domin za a kada kuri'a kan batun a ƙarshen wannan watan a majalisar kasar a to House of Commons to har yanzu muna Burtaniya inda Prime Minister Burtaniya Boris Johnson ya ce kasashen G7 za su kauce wa sankai wajen tun kare annobar corona ba kamar yadda suka yi ba tun a farkon barkewar cutar da bayyana haka ne a ranar asabar din nan ayin kamar taron kasashe bakwai mafi a karfin tattalin arziki a duniya wanda ke gudana a birnin London ya ce shugabannin sun yi alƙawarin bayar da tallafin riga kafin corona guda biliyan 1 ga kasashe matalauta ko dai kai tsaye ko kuma ta hannun shirin Covax ya kala da cewa Burtaniya za ta bayar da miliyan 100 daga ciki wani mataki ne babba na yi wa duniya riga kafi a cewar sa to anan shirin namu zai ja burki albashi bayan dawo mu daga takaitaccen hutu za mu dola da ƙarin wasu labaran ku biyo mu like drops of rain individuals and groups innovate birth in ideas that might make the difference in the conversations and action to fight climate change.
innovative thinking from Africa and Europe to save our planet. That's why recycling tires has great potential. Indeed, green business is growing. On Eco Africa, we highlight the efforts to live and grow sustainably at these times. Coronavirus, co COVID 19 attack, I check. When you can and just inquire in Chutani, denging virus that you had as a no occurrence in Lapia, Tenda Gamura, her is what you took to come as an English game. Why you can tell COVID 19? The second the sun over the Aki Pama de Ita Halin Yanzu, when the Sabong no in virus name, the Ba Ascension Ajikin Dang Adamba. Someone look at Chin the Quayo Yin to tell Covid nineteen Kibukata Capens of Balaga. Some case a caning Yini Gudazu a Quanaki Goma Shahu, a Casari Masna Balaga, a chicken Quanaki beer. My young Alamo Ming Chewa and Kamu the Quayo Yin to tell Covid nineteen. Some had the Mashako, the Zebi, Tari, Serka Pewar in Pashi. It then tastes an any. Chutar, na iya sabba ba chiwa mat aukei. Mat anan chiyar mat alal sarka pewar numpashi, da lala chewar koda, har ma ta kaiga mutua. Wasu ma ta kan kariya da kamuwa da kwayo yin chutar COVID-19 sun hatar da yawan wanki hanuwa da ruwa da sabulu. Idan ba a ruwa da sabulu ba, sai a sabta ci hannuwa da man wanki hannu sosai. A bar ta zarar a kalla mita daya ko kafa uku tsakanin ka da duk mutumin da ke tare ko attishawa. A kiyaye la duban yin attishawa ko tare da suka hadar da rufe baki da hanci da damtsin hannu ko tissue paper a yayin tare ko attishawa sa'an nan a jefa cikin kwandon sharanan take. A kauce wa taba idanu hanci da baki. A gaisa da jama'a ta hanyar daga hannu ko kada kai ko kuma dan sun kuyar da kai. A gaggauta garzayawa zuwa asibiti da zarar an ji alamar zazzabi ko tare ko kuma sarkafewar numfashi. Domin ya kar annobar COVID-19 a Nigeria, sai a kira lambar wayar cibiyar yaki da cututtuka masu yaduwa ta Nigeria wato NCDC. Sipili ta kwa sipili, sipili ta ra bakwai sipili, sipili 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 eh sipili. Haka zalika za iya kiran layukan wayar gaggawa na gwamnatin jihar Kano. Sipili ta kwa sipili, biyar sipili uku, sipili uku uku, hudu uku. Sipili ta kwa sipili, tara tara tara. Bakwai uku biyu tara biyu sipili ta kwa sipili uku tara bakwai sipili hudu hudu bakwai shida sai kuma layukan wayar gaggawa na gwamnatin jihar Lagos sipili ta kwa sipili biyu uku daya shida tara hudu takwas biyar sipili ta kwa sipili uku uku biyar shida biyar biyar biyu tara sipili ta kwa sipili biyar biyu takwas daya bakwai biyu hudu uku <coughs> to madalla barkanmu da dawowa kuna iya bibiyar mu a addressin mu na internet channelstv.com ko kuma ku lalibe mu a shafin mu na sada zamanta na youtube ta hanyar yin amfani da wayoyin ku na hannu kirar android ko ios ta garin binan wadannan wayoyi na adana bayanai da zarar kun sauke mana hajar mu ta channelstv ko channels24 to babu shakka za ku ci gaba da samun labare da mudumansu a tafukan hannun ku Haka kuma an tsara man hajar mu ta shedin gani da ido domin ku riga ayyuka mana da hotuna ko video ko kuma labaran da ke faruwa a yankunan da kuke da zarar kun sauke wannan man hajar sai ku dangwale ta da dan yatsa sa'an nan ku shafi kanta dan take za ta bude muku wanda ji da wali daga nan kuma sai ku buga idojin da aka zayyana domin aiko mana da sakonni sai mun ji da gare ku yanzu kuma shirin namu zai dora inda a wani abu da ke da ake ganin zai iya daga darajar Najeriya a fannin kirkire kirkiren zamani kasar ta wato Najeriya ta hada wayar salula ta farko a ranar laraba ministan kasuwanci da sanya hannun jari a Deni a Debayo ya gabatar wa shugaban kasa Muhammad Buhari da wayar salula wacce aka kira ake kira da ITF Mobile wacce kirar Android ce a kwanakin bayan hukumomin Najeriya suka bayyana cewa Najeriya na shirin kaddamar da waya wacce ake kira a kasar hade da wato wacce ake aka kira a kasar hade da katun waya na SIM a yayin gabatar da wayar gabanin a fara tare majalisar tattaswa na mako mako a dai bayan ya ce cibiyar binciki akan kayan laturoni na hukumar 
na kuenda hukuma na to kuenda makamara aiki ta ITF ni ya kirikili wayar haka ndina nifu na Nigeria miyawang ali uma kusam milian alibiu oche tepuku oche kasa yawang jamaa na hiyar Afrika ta shika jeli nkasa shedi ki kila wayar salula anam kumachane taakir katiku nji rg sabin ta kasa shema kiu ya kalipun tatalen alza ki aduni achi wa luka chi ya uchi da wani kalaman rukunin kasashe zai lika baiwa duniya umarni kalaman na jakadan China a Burtaniya na zuwa ne a yanda shugabannin shugabannin ke taruwa kasar suka nemi a hada kai domin tun kare manufofin China shugabannin sun zayyana kudaden da za su kashe domin dakila take-taken China a fadan duniya masana na ganin cewa shugaban Amurka Joe Biden da gaske ke wajen ganin shugabannin Turai sun dauki mataki akan China Alahadin nan ne da aka sare wato aka sare shugabannin za su sanar da karin tallafi ga kasashe masu tasowa wadanda ke fama da matsalolin sauyi yanayi da kuma kudaden gudanar da ayyukan more rayuwa a matsayin kishiyar wanda China ke gudanarwa daga ketare kuma shugaban kasar Zambia Edgar Lungu yayin ke jiki ya fadi a yayin da yake halarta wani taron da karin tsaro a ranar Lahadi sai dai gwamnatin kasar ta musanta cewa yana fama da rashin lafiya ne kamar yadda kafar ya da labarai mai zaman kanta ta Zambia Watch Dr. Waito nan da nan dai gidajen talabijin na kasar suka dakatar da nuna taron kai tsaye da suke yi bayan da shugaban kasar yayi jiri ya kwashe shi wato yayin da jiri ya kwashe shugaban kasar kamar yadda ayyan majalisar suka ce sanarwa fadar shugaban kasar ta aka fitar ta ce shugaban kasa na san tabbatarwa al'umma al'umma da ma ayyan kasashen wadda cewa lafiya sa kalau kuma zai ci gaba da gudanar da ayyukan sa a matsayin shugaban kasa an fara zaben Mr. Lungu ne a watan jalalin shekarar 2015 kuma a lokacin yace yana son yayi gwaji domin tabbatar da cewa yana da lafiyar jagorantar kasar bayan da aka yi ta zargin sa da shan barasar da ta jawo masa rashin lafiya Lungu mai shekara 64 yana son zarciya a zaben da za a yi a ranar 12 ga watan Agusta sai dai kotun tsarin mulkin kasar ta Zambia ta yanke hukuncin cewa shugaba Edgar Lungu na iya sake tsayawa a takarar sa bayan da ƴan hamayya suke cewa bai cancanta ba duba da dokar kundin tsarin mulkin da tayi ta yin takara sau biyu wato ta hana yin takara sau biyu anan kuma China ta zargi kasashe mambobin G7 da yi mata bita da kullun siyasa bayan da suka cattake ta akan batutuwa da dama a wata sanarwa da suka sanyawa hannu bayan kammala a taron kwanaki uku shugabannin kasashen G7 sun nemi China da ta girmama hakokin bil adama da sauran yancin sa batutuwan da suka tattauna a kai sun hada da na cin zarafin tsararin musulmi na Uighur da kuma dandiyar da ake wa masu fafutukar neman demokradiya a yankin Hong Kong wafin jakadancin China a Burtaniya ya zargi kasashen G7 da yi mata zarge zargen da ba su da hujja ku daina bata wa China suna ku daina shiga cikin alamuran China na cikin gida sannan ku kuma daina yin illa ga manufofin ta a cewar wani mai magana da yawunta a ranar litinin daga duniyar wasanni kuma Novak Djokovic ya zama zakarar karo na 19 a manyan gasannin kwallon tennis bayan da ya doke dan wasan girka Stefanos Sisyphus a wasan karshe da suka fafata na French Open a ranar Lahadi. Djokovic mai shekaru 34 wanda ya taba lashe Roland Garros a shekarar 2016 ya zama mutum na farko da ya lashe dukkanin manyan gasannin tennis sau bibiyu tun fara gasar kwararru a shekarar 1968. Yanzu a kusan kamo abokan hamariyar sa wato ya kusan kamo abokan hamariyar sa Rafael Nadal da Roger Federer da suka fishi yawan lashe kofinan manyan gasar tennis. Zai iya kamo Nadal da Federer da suka lashe kofi 20 idan har ya kare kambun sa a Wimbledon a wannan watan. Anan kuma Ingila ta samu nasara akan Croatia da ci daya da nema a fafatawar rukuni da suka yi a gasar cin kofin Turai a ranar Lahadi. Rahim Sterling ne ya ci wa Ingila kwallanta a lagar Croatia. Papa ta wadda kasashen biyu suka yi a Wembley 
kalan farko kenan da ingila ta lashe wasan farko a gasarcin kofin ture a haduwa ta goma to da kuma haka labaran suka kammala amma da dukkanin wanda suka taimaka gurin kawo muku so ni abubakar salu ke ce da ku wassalamu alaikum mu ci gaba da kasancewa cikin koshin lafiya Allah ya ba mu alkhairan sa